Ugh, I hate Mondays. It's Tuesday and those are fake Garfield details. Look at this document. Four things the Garfield trailer tells us. Oh, this is about Garfield. I've already heard that Chris Pratt voices... <coughs> Sorry. That Garfield voices Chris Pratt. Yeah, whatever. Can I make my point? Sure. Go right ahead. So my first point is... That I don't have the rights to the trailer. Make your actual point. Alright, sorry. So detail number one. Garfield's adoption. What's fun to note is that the trailer really teases a story about Garfield's origins. Nice. Yeah, so when we approach the first minute, we get to see John sitting in a restaurant whilst little Garfield arrives. John opens the window and Garfield eats John's entire pizza right in front of him. Wow, so John must be very angry with him. Actually, not at all. He just immediately falls in love with him as Garfield eats more and more and the rest is history. Point number two. Wait, that's already it? Of course, I have lasagna to catch up. So point number two, Garfield as a little kitten. Oh my god, just the imagination is already so cute. Garfield as a little kitten. As I already said, the trailer really teases a story about Garfield's origins. As in the first half of the trailer and most likely in the first half of the movie, we get to see a version of Garfield when he was very, very young. Hold on, I'm probably just gonna sit and watch the first half of the movie and then leave. No, you're not. Because of point number three, Garfield's relation with John. I'm sorry, didn't we already know how Garfield met John? Actually, no. Because according to my papers, there's a fragment from 1 minute 05 to 1 minute 11, which surprisingly tells how eating developed Garfield and John's relationship. Okay, I have to admit, that kind of makes sense. Anything else to add to point three? No. Point number four, Garfield's unification with his father. What? He has a father? Yes, he surprisingly has. His name is Vic, or Samuel L. Jackson's character. And from 1 minute 45 till the end, we get to see Garfield's developing relationship with his father. Sounds amazing. Although I do wonder how Garfield even had the energy to meet up with him. Yeah, that's the biggest riddle you can possibly get. I guess it is. Any extras before you catch a lasagna? Yes. At 2 minute 02, we see a giant Garfield balloon. There's an easter egg which says love at first bite, Odie is basically the one he's always been, and Liz and Nermal didn't even get to appear in the trailer. Great summary. Enjoy your lasagna. Thank you. Damn it. No Bill Murray but Chris Pratt? That it may already be a challenge to beat the other Garfield movies when it comes to their Rotten Tomatoes scores. Oh well, let's have some lunch. <laughs>